or Chapty Floyd. I heard you thumping down in the kitchen. You were having a sip of water out of the sink, weren't you? Oh my goodness. Ay. Well, I got up really late today. At least late for me. stayed up to the end of the first overtime of the Vancouver game last night, hoping that they would win it by then. And I thought, okay, that's it. I'm going to bed, turned it off, went to bed. And they lost. They lost it. Oh, well, they'll win it later on. There's still time. But, you know, I stayed up so late. Why couldn't you win it for me? So I did not wake up early this morning. And I was so thirsty, and I didn't put enough sugar in there. Eek. <clears throat> So I have to finish the afternoon class and the evening class. That should be, I should be done by lunchtime. It should be done by lunch and then I can do testing and vacuuming. It would be nice if it brightened up, but I don't think it's going to. I think it's going to stay dismal looking. Dismal. It's 10 degrees. degrees. Oh, well, you know, it's not cold. All my students who come from Colombia and Egypt say, what do you mean it's not cold? I say, well, I went out and got the paper in my nightie. It's not cold. I don't tell them that I always go out and get the paper in my nightie, no matter what the weather. But, you know, having someone in 10 degree weather with gloves sitting on their desk it just seems a little extreme but new immigrant from Colombia it's cold in comparison I got the itchies Those new exercises are helping, are definitely helping. So. They're helping. I'm noticing an improvement. I'm noticing an improvement. And that's good because it's slightly painful. Oh, there's an election tomorrow. There's an election tomorrow. Mm -mm -mm. We'll see what happens. People are always saying that, oh, what a cost, what a waste of money. It's not. There's this idea that all these natural disasters we've been having, what a cost that is to us. Cost in lives, lives, a financial cost, you know, it's going to ruin us. This election, another waste of money, you know, we're going to be ruined. There could be nothing better for us than elections and national disasters, natural disasters. They both 
because allow money that has been sitting somewhere doing nothing to be injected into the economy. People are working. Insurance money is going out into, you know, it's, it's getting put back into circulation. If there's a natural disaster, insurance companies have to pay off and things have to be fixed up and rebuilt. So, jobs, you know, and the sucked away money in the insurance companies, back into the economy. Same thing with elections. The money that's sitting there in the bank accounts doing nothing is injected back into the economy. The workers are working, you know, the reporters are talking, and sign makers are, are making signs, all these things. It's employing people, it's, it's work that money that wasn't doing anything is injected back into the economy. Insurance companies and election coffers empty them out, spread out the money. Natural disasters and elections, good for us. Okay, I'm done. I had to get that off my chest. It pisses me off when people say, oh, it's just a big waste of money. It's called democracy. <clears throat> You don't want it? You know where you can go. Lots of places they don't have democracy. You're lucky. Here we do. <coughs> <coughs> okay. I'm going. <coughs> Got something in my throat. <coughs> I have to get to work anyway.